Uh, yeah, welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we're doing another Daily Dash. Today, I actually just left the gym, drinking a protein shake, nice and healthy, my favorite, my Garden of Life. If you guys don't know, I've been sponsored by Garden of Life for about six or seven years now. Garden of Life makes the absolute best stuff, but they don't pay me, so I'm just throwing it out there. So, I just really love this stuff, these protein shakes. Zero sugar, two carbs, I'm trying to shred, doesn't get much better than that. I actually already got an order. This is from Mackay Island Grill, and it was literally right outside of the gym, and it's my first time doing a delivery from there. So it actually drives right back towards my house. I don't really need to go home though, so I, I don't know. I'm just gonna try to do some DoorDash today. I'm trying to catch up on some money. Um, I probably spent a little bit too much when I was in Texas last week kind of fell a little bit behind to be absolutely honest but today I wanted to give my opinion on multi-apping because a few people I actually had a, a business call a few days ago I don't know if it's business actually some guy Sean called me and talked about business or about multi-apping and I was like that's a good topic because I of course as someone who has like eight different streams of income I am so big on diversifying your your finances if you can get money from different streams of income that's the way to go because you never know when one of them's gonna get cut you know like who knows all it takes is one bad thing for DoorDash to just completely get tanked you know and I'm not gonna I guess I probably should throw it out there but I don't think that's gonna happen but I'm just trying to give you guys an idea because anyone can get deactivated on any day it doesn't matter all it takes is a really bad customer to make a really ridiculous complaint about you or something and you could get deactivated especially if you're a newer driver I feel like you're more prone to get deactivated than if you're someone who's got like 3,000 deliveries like I do so that's my opinion on multi-apping I obviously do it not very often because I used to do it really often when I was doing full-time delivery basically until COVID came around. Um, once COVID came around, I had bought this car. It's a really expensive car. It's a Ford Explorer Sport. It cost me way too much money, which means I drain way too much money, money when I'm driving around. So the wear and tear is too expensive for me to do delivery full time anymore. But when I was multi-apping, I was making really good money. And the only reason I don't really multi-app is because I normally am vlogging my dashes nowadays. And doing two apps and vlogging at the same time I've done it before it's a little bit too much and personally I'd kind of rather just chill I enjoy doing DoorDash because it's like chill I can listen to podcasts and like I'm not in a big rush to do anything you know like it's just like kind of honestly when I say it like I'm really like it's kind of like a stress relief you know like sometimes I'll just be like sitting at my office and I'm like oh I've been staring at this computer screen for too long so then I'll just go and do some DoorDash and it's kind of a stress relief and when you're doing multi-apping it kind of makes it a little stressful not saying that's a bad thing at all though I am a huge fan of multi-apping and doing multiple apps at the same time is the way to go and if you can get on I've said it many times before if you can get on as many apps as you possibly can do it like if you have a good driving record and you can get on Uber, Lyft, Postmates, DoorDash, Instacart, Grubhub, Uber Eats. Get on all of them if you possibly can. Personally, I, I, I applied for Grubhub. They're just like full in Las Vegas and they still haven't hired me yet. So I don't know, maybe they'll eventually hire me. I actually didn't know that Uber Eats was up to par with like the standards of like DoorDash and Grubhub. I thought they were still like Postmates where they wouldn't tell you if you got tipped up front. So maybe I'll sign up for Uber Eats. I probably won't though, because I think I'll just try to stick with Grubhub and DoorDash if I can get on Grubhub. Right now I'm content with DoorDash though. DoorDash takes up 50% of the market share value, you know, like market share value. I don't know if that's correct what I said, but uh, they get 50% of the total orders that come in from delivery driving apps. So that means they're probably the best company to drive for. But if you guys disagree, let me know in the comments down below who you guys think is the best delivery platform if you guys haven't yet please consider smashing the like button because it helps out my channel quite a bit and i know that you guys like this content and if you smash the down like then i know that you don't like this content but just don't do that i'll know i'll know if there's not if a hundred percent of the views don't have like buttons i'll know that my content sucks just kidding but seriously 
guys got to get some of these protein shakes from Garden of Life. If you guys want to order from Garden of Life, use the discount code AMBASSADOR20 or AMBASSADORS20. I'm not sure which one it is. Again, I don't get paid by them, so I'm literally giving that information to you guys because I actually really stand behind Garden of Life and all of their supplements. Like if you look at the ingredients, grass-filled protein. Organic urea the thurine, uh, contains 2% or less cocoa, organic cocoa. Everything says organic behind it. So I know the products are probably a little bit more expensive than the typical stuff you see at GNC, but it's definitely much better for you and you're gonna feel a lot better. I haven't gotten sick in years and I've been taking these supplements for about five years and I would probably say the last time I was sick was before I started taking all these supplements. I've basically been a Garden of Life science experiment for the last like seven years or so. Um, ooh, okay. Delivering this order and sometimes this happens but they give you an order and the house is actually on the other side of that wall. Did that ever happen to you guys? Where they try to tell you to go to a place where there's some like I don't know. The house is actually on the other side of the wall, so I'll be right back. I gotta go freaking do a U-turn and get back on that road I was just on. God damn it. We deliver into some high-end stuff. We got a double gate code. So I, I, not gonna lie, <coughs> I better get a damn post tip on this one. For me having to go through two gates, type in, or the first one, they have to have a password for me to get in. I think that's hilarious that you need a password. They're like, she's like, what's the password? And I'm like, I don't know. Is it like, I don't know, DoorDash? She's like, oh no, you need a password to get in. I'm like, oh, I've never dealt with that before where they have, they give you a password. But anyway, so this is a nice rich area. It's in the Southern Highlands Ranch area, right? Jesus, all these houses are insane. All right, I'll be right back because I got to type in the second gate code. Look at that double gated community here we go oh damn not gonna lie pretty damn sure Graham Stefan lives up here uh, because I know that this is the side of the mountain by the backyard that he lives in not gonna sound like a stalker or anything but I do know that he lives up here um, anyways this is goals right here I'm gonna live up here you know this is it's, it's right next to my damn house but I don't have a gated community at my house. But I want one though, for that extra sense of security. All right, look at these houses. Look at that. Dude, that view is so dope from up there. It's probably better than the top of my freaking circus age in the backyard. They all, all these houses are exactly the same. That's kind of strange though. If I was like super rich, I wouldn't build the exact same house as my neighbor. I'd want it to be unique. And all these houses are literally exactly the same. Anyways, all right, be right back. All right, yeah, that house is dope. Um, do you guys feel more comfortable when someone is carrying a gun around you? Because the customer walked up to my car and he had like a gun. I personally am more comfortable in those situations, but I'm kind of like a gun guy. And I'm not gonna lie, I carry a gun around sometimes. I'm not like one of the people that walks around in like stores and stuff with it though. Like if I'm like, in a sketchy area or something I will keep my gun with me but do you guys get uncomfortable when there's like people carrying guns around you I per like I was just in Texas and everyone's carrying guns in Texas I personally am more comfortable because I you know I trust people I'm very trusting and I feel like if someone's carrying a gun around and they're showing it to you they're probably more, they're probably not someone who's gonna like commit a crime against you or something, you know? And I feel like you're, it's almost like having a bunch of cops around. So, I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I personally feel more comfortable around, I don't feel comfortable around cops when I see them on the street. I'm like, ugh, because they pull you over some dumbass things. I've gotten some really dumbass tickets in my time. Like, second day of coronavirus. I was driving my Tesla on this street called Dean Martin. It's almost like a highway. I was going seven over. I got a ticket for going seven over. Second day of coronavirus after they shut everything down. No one was on the road or anything. And I was driving the Tesla. Those Teslas are too damn easy to freaking get a ticket in. They just, they just, there's no sound to them. But anyways, I don't know. 
I don't like cops because they give you tickets for dumbass reasons, but I don't mind when people are carrying guns around me. That's just my opinion, but anyways. Be right back. When we get another order. Look at my brother, he's walking his cat. That's my brother. My brother is taking the cat for a walk around the house. That little psychopath is always trying to get out of the house. He basically stands by the front door and waits for his opportunity to get out the outside of the house. He like went outside one time and basically he's been obsessed with going outside since. We don't really have it like there's a street in front of us now which not many people drive down but it's still with that whole coyote situation. We don't really want our cats outside so anyways I'm gonna grab some Brock and Guac. Broccoli and guacamole for those of you uh, who don't know what I'm talking about. Grab a quick snack and then continue on this dash. Try to get one more order at least. All right, real quick. Just wanted to show you guys what I'm cooking because, say what's up, Kenji. Um, just so you guys know, I'm cooking bison and I got avocado, jalapenos, asparagus, and mushrooms in there. I'm making kind of like a I don't know what you would call this, but. That is kind of how I cook my meals. I kind of just like make a ton at one time. And because I'm trying to stay low on sodium, I got this avocado ranch, which only has a little bit of sodium in it. And then I also season stuff with the Dustin Poirier, a Louisiana style hot sauce. And then I'm basically cooking everything with this olive oil because there's no sodium in it, so. That's my kind of meals that I'm using to lose weight. And also, just to show you my refrigerator real quick. Not touching the butter. I know it's right there, I'm not using it. I got steaks, more broccoli, because I've been eating broccoli and guacamole. This kind of guacamole I've been using. And I have bell peppers, raw beets right there. And yeah, so that is just kind of an update for you guys who are interested in the diet stuff that I've been doing because I've been shredding about trying to get down to about probably 160 or so so that's what I'm using to eat I know I said I was gonna get Brock and Glock but then I was like ah, I should cook this bison before it goes bad right Genji what do you think think about three dollar orders Genji Little the lion drawer so this is basically what it looks like when it's done what do you think Genji Roar like a lion, Genji. Roar like a lion. Go. Go. Do it. Do it. Do it. No. You don't get your food until you roar. Okay. Alright, back in the car. Gonna drive back over to a good dashing area because I've told you guys before. My house is pretty far away from everything so I don't really get any orders over here. But just like quick tips for diets. I know some of you guys don't really give a shit about the diet stuff. But some of you guys do. So yeah, I'm on my little weight loss journey. I kind of like lose, gain weight for the winter time and then lose weight so you can put on a little bit of muscle mass um, all the time. And it's almost summertime, so it's time to shred. Also, I got shows coming up, so I wanted to lose six pounds, get down to about 163. I'm actually already down about 161. But also other things I've been doing is like trying to reduce my sodium intake so that way I get a better jawline because when you have a lot of sodium in, I already noticed the difference actually. When you have a lot of sodium in your body, it holds onto water and you have a lot of water retention, especially up in your face area or down on your stomach area. So if you guys are looking to lose weight, especially in your stomach or your chin, try to reduce your sodium. So basically, as crappy as this sounds, like that whole meal, I didn't use any salt or anything. It tastes so bad compared to what it normally does. But basically, there's no salt, but there is a little bit of sodium in the uh, avocado ranch that I use and a teeny bit in the Dustin Poirier hot sauce. But basically, all I'm trying to do is up my fats that I'm taking, so taking more fats because fat makes you feel satiated, basically makes you feel more full so you don't feel like you're so hungry after. Like, if you eat a whole avocado for a meal, you're probably not gonna be hungry after that, you know? Fats are very dense with calories. And also, try to up my protein, of course, and then just reduce my carbs to where, if I'm taking in any carbs, they're green vegetables. So, those are just things that I think about when I'm trying to shred and lose a little bit of weight. So far, so good, though. I'm at, like, day four or five. Four or five with no sugar or anything like that. Basically, no carbs. 
I'm past the point of like where my body is like starving and I'm having like like I want to go get like a McDonald's or something, you know? So after about like day three or so, once you get all that sugar out of your body, you really don't crave it anymore. So I'm past that point. All I gotta do is not cave and get anything and I'll be chilling. Especially in like two weeks, I'll probably be pretty shredded. But anyways, enough about the fitness stuff. We're driving back over towards to a little bit east because there's nothing really in my area where you can get orders. So be right back when we get in order. All right, real quick, I just wanna throw this out there. I say that a lot. I just got an order. Uh, I declined it though. <coughs> it popped up. It said three dollars from McDonald's. It was going to a hospital. It was only one mile. And immediately I was like, Psh, decline. Like I didn't even think about it. I was like, hospital, McDonald's, three dollar order. And then I thought to myself, I was like, damn. That person, whoever it is, is in a worse position than I am right now. And I should have been a good person and got them their McDonald's for $3 because they're in the hospital and they probably don't have any money to tip someone right now. And then I thought, I was like, man, I'm a, I'm a bad person. I should have taken that $3 order. I'm not broke, I could have done it. And then I'm like, ugh, but it was $3. I didn't even like, I like instinct, just decline distance too far, declined it, you know? And then I was like, Jesus, you know? I don't know, I keep saying that, but should I feel bad? I don't know. Should I feel bad about not taking that $3 order? They're in the hospital. Like I probably should have made a, I don't know. I didn't even think about it. Normally I like, if it's like $5, I'll like consider it and I'll be like, oh, where's it's going? But $3 to a hospital, it was, I don't know. I almost feel like it was selfish of me not to do the order. But, cause backstory, I've been sitting in this parking lot for like 45 minutes already. It's three. 49 already I've been literally sitting here th since the last clip that you saw of me driving over to I'm sitting by BJ's right now tried to get to a better spot for an order I've got nothing so far I already went to the gym this morning but I think I'm going to go to the gym again because it seems like when I'm in the gym I get more orders so I guess that's what we're doing so I'll be right back hopefully we get an order at some point today because otherwise this video is going to be boring. All right, we got Archie's, $7 for one mile. I got it while I was in the gym and literally like, look at this, EOS. I don't know why it doesn't focus. Archie's, so close that I had to walk. It's the first time I've ever gotten an order from Archie's while I was in the gym. So, Walked over there, got an order, not gonna lie, it took like 15 minutes for them to make the food and I'm already like 10 minutes late. So I gotta drive like one mile north and then we got this order done for today. Yeah, super convenient though. $7 for one mile, $7 a mile. That's pretty good. So no one's complaining about that one unless it's to a casino, but there's no casinos on this side of town. Shouldn't have said that. Should have checked actually, I didn't even check. Like, I gotta start doing this more often and zooming in to make sure. I normally do it every time, but unless I see a really good order, like the other day we saw $8 for two miles, and then it was to, to a casino, Silverton Casino, and I didn't even think about it because Silverton isn't on the strip, so I didn't even think twice about it. But I don't think this is a casino over here. I think it's just two apartment complexes, but that's okay. Oh, no, it's to a house. We're good. Houses are my favorite because I don't know what's up with this freaking light on oh my God. Anyways, houses are the best because you just walk up, drop it off, and then you're good. So, anyways, be right back. I'm gonna jump off this. All right, and that concludes today's video because we got quite a, I'm not gonna lie, we're kind of far away from the house now. I'm about six or seven miles east. A lot of driving in today's vlog, not a lot of money making. I think we only made, what, $9 on the first order or so, and there are two different dashes, so I don't actually know how much I made on the first one. Anyways, I think we made like 15 bucks. I don't know why it says I made zero dollars so far, though. That's a little scary. Hold on a sec. Zero. It better not be zero dollars. Okay. Anyways, I think it's going to pop up right now. Sometimes it does that. It takes a... Okay, what's going on? It says zero dollars still. I don't know if you can see that, but... I definitely made some money... 
Okay, be right back. We're gonna solve this problem real quick to make sure that I made money. Yeah, okay, so we're good. It just, uh, I don't know, for some reason it didn't pop up, but all right, that concludes today's video. Thank you guys for watching and uh, tolerating boring videos sometimes. I don't know if today was boring for you guys or not. It was kind of boring for me because we dashed at a very inappropriate time. It's the middle of the day. Not a good time to get orders. But anyways, if you guys haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel because it greatly helps out me. Wait, no, like the video because that helps out me. Subscribe to the channel because it helps out you because we're going to get more informational videos coming soon. So thank you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.